Welcome to Looker Studio, data visualization tool made by Google, a free instrument to analyze your data. My name is Gala, I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gilly Reports. On my website, you can find some Looker Studio templates, practical guide, how to learn to work in Looker Studio, and a lot of practical articles with tips and tricks. So let's open our Looker Studio interface and see what do we have here. Uh, I have already some reports. When you create a new account, you will have nothing here, so it doesn't matter. Uh, which information do we have here? We have main button, create. We can create report, data source, and explore our data source. Also, we have recent reports, data source, and explorer. Same things. We have a recent report shared with me, owned by me, trash, some free template provided by Looker Studio. And this is template, you can find them. You can start from one of template or you can create a blank report. Let's create a blank report. When you create a blank report, first of all, Looker, mm, uh, Looker offer you to add data source. Let's see what do we have here. We have uh, data sources and this is connectors. Data source, it, it is a place where you uh, keep your data, save your data and connectors, this is tool that pull your data from this data source to your dashboard. We have free connectors provided by Google and we have paid connectors Oh, some of them paid, some of them free, uh, but from partner connectors, from uh, partner services. You can see like by Supermetrics, by SEO Monitor. So here you can see small letters, it's a company name who provides these connectors. We can start with Google Analytics connector. It is, I think, the main for marketing managers, but of course you can pull data from Google Ads, Google Sheets, or BigQuery as a SQL database, or even just local file on your laptop. So let's connect Google Analytics. I have two accounts here. I have Google Demo account. Uh, it's free. You can connect it. It's really easy. If you just Google Looker or Google Analytics demo account, you can find the link. Yeah, I want to connect Google Nerd Shop and click to add. From the moment when we connected our data source, we can start to create our dashboard. We have this pop-up. I'm about um, to add data to this report. Yeah, I'm fine. I wanted it. And uh, Looker Studio automatically creates for us simple table. We can remove it. And this is our workspace. Uh, basically, you can imagine this is a this is like a piece of paper, um, just regular paper, and you can create different charts, tables, and visualization, and text, add images, so on. First of all, what I do usually, I uh, look at Studio. Test report. I can create name for my dashboard. Test report for YouTube. Um, what do we have here? Here we have main menu, um, like file, edit, view, insert. Um, we have menu here, second line. Usually I use second line and because a lot of options just duplicate here and here. Oh, I can use right pad of my mouse. Uh, a part of this uh, a part of this page uh, we have on the right side we have two menus: data and properties. Um, on the data, we added J4 account, so we can see all our fields from our account. Also, we can go to resources, manage edit data sources, and find this account here. Do you like this video and want to learn more about Looker Studio? Please find the link to my Looker Studio practical guide for marketers in the description. 
found it? Now let's back to the main topic of this video. When you start to create dashboard, I recommend you to start with title. Mm, Google Analytics for overview. How did I do it? I just clicked the text button. I can use it. I can change size of this element really easy. Uh, I can change fonts. I can change alignment. Um, I can use other font wherever. I think you can find what you need on this menu. We have some options here. We can change background. I don't need it right now, but you have this option. So you have some settings and this is in our panel property. So I added element. Now our property panel is empty. When I click to element, we can see that it is selected. And uh, in this case, we have some settings that we can change. When we add it, let's add a first chart. It will be scorecard. Uh, when we click to add chart, here we have a lot of different charts, each of them good for different cases. Let's create a scorecard and just put it here. Scorecard shows by default shows us view, views. We can change it uh, again when we select this scorecard, we can see data source. Here we have our G4 data source. If we have more, we can change for others. Also, we have we can blend data, uh, join data without, with, from different data sources. Here we have metric views. We can click simply click here and change it to users, active users. Also, if we we can type user here. Why we should have? interesting view okay we gave you his find you found um we can find some options here and then we can change or we can simply drag and drop our fields to metric uh we can we have here sparkline, we can use date for sparkline. In this case, we will see this line to see our sessions in dynamic. We can use different comparison type, show it's in progress, and we have data range. Data range is important. We have auto and custom. Let's keep it after for now. Uh, and we have comparison. We can compare with the previous period. And we have these small numbers. It's different with the previous period. We can easily change size of this element. If we go to here, if you notice, we have setup and style. Setup, we already talked a bit. And in styles, we have conditional formatting, uh, compact numbers, we can change it. We have some visual elements so this is green we can change this color we can change decimal precision i like to keep it um so we have some styles you can play around we can we can change spark line color to make it feel smooth uh, maybe let's keep it feel mm, and then we have we can set up what to do with missing data and some alignment. Maybe I would like to make it by center. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can do some background and make our borders around our corners. And um, I don't know. Change padding. Kind of. Then we can select this element, click Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and uh, this element will be duplicated. And here we can change sessions by users, and we already have two scorecards. We can add one more, and uh, this way change to, I don't know,
average purchases revenue average session duration for example okay we have three scorecards uh, also we can add some other like time series chart for example uh, below our below our scorecards uh, time series chart has different settings setup and styles as well here I can remove um, dimension is date we can select breakdown dimension it could be channel for example I want to see sessions by channel metrics we have sessions here um, we also have optional and metric slider you can play around and see how does it work again default data range after and custom and we can add some filters for example we want to show only like organic traffic so we can add filter with organic g4 organic include channel default channel group include contains organic and save when we applied filter we can see only organic traffic sources um, that is it that uh, in styles we have different options as well we can change colors we can change some lines change lines to bars for example if we want so we have different uh, styles for each line and global settings for each or oh, for chart for example number of series um, we, we can add a reference line we can make chart smooth show or remove axis and so on actually quite a lot of different settings uh, that you can check and play around um, so chart by chart we can create our dashboard using different kind of charts each chart has different combination of metric and metrics and dimensions so you create your dashboard after you create you can add control add control we have drop down list um, I think this is more usable and slider I think I use them and data range control let's add data range control actually you can use all of them I just said what is more useful for me data range control I can say that I want to show data from last month oh this okay, sorry uh, last month apply and when we view dashboard by default it will show us last month but we can easily change it to this month August but when we refresh page it again will show us last month because we set up as default like last month as default and here a nice moment uh, I mentioned that when we select any chart we can see that default data range is after but we can use custom data range for example last this quarter and when we use here a custom data range we can change this this week and this chart will not change because it has custom data range <coughs> be careful with this and uh, think when kind which kind of data range do we need also we can add some drop down list uh, in our case we can use channel group uh, session and here we can see all our channel groups and we can filter on the channels that we want to see uh, if you have this invalid combination of metrics and dimensions it means that this metric cannot be combined with this filter so think what can you change or filter or this when you finish to stop your dashboard this time to share it how to do it you can click to share and add 
people for whom you want to share your dashboard, change view from viewers to editors, and maybe if you need to use these checkboxes. Also, you can use unlisted public options, same uh, like for other documents in Google, like Google Sheets, Google Docs, etc. When you share it, also you have one more functionality here, like publishing settings. You can switch it on, and in this case, you have you can have different version. Here we have draft version and published. For example, if I um, create one more chart, like pie chart. Yeah, doesn't matter and go to view mode I have draft version and publish version so all my viewers will be see will see this option without pie chart and only me can see this as a as an editor so you can have two version of your report one for you as a creator when you can apply ch ch changes and other one for viewers and also, of course, you can publish your draft when you're ready. That is it for a quick start. I think it's enough for beginning. If you like this tool and if you want to go deeper, I recommend you, you to check my online course. You can find link below this video. On that course, we talk a lot about different functionality of Luger Studio. And believe me, you can have a, a lot of interesting things here you can create really nice comprehensive dashboards use looker studio or use google analytics google sheets bigquery other data sources and paid connectors it's a really powerful tool that you can use for your marketing and sales report probably for others but mostly i work with marketing and sales so i can talk mostly about them so check my course I hope you liked this video, let me know about that in comments and see you soon.